module 8 module 8 is about basic aerodynamics and it is one of the most easiest module to clear with a little hard work and quite smart work so today i am going to give you a tips and tricks to successfully clear module 8 so let's get started to know about module 8 refer syllabus given in crs c6 The module eight is divided into the four sub modules, which is physics of atmosphere, aerodynamics, theory of flight, and flight stability and dynamics. So the questions comes from the atmosphere, which is eight point one, are very easy and includes the value of physical quantity at mean sea level, such as temperature, density, and pressure. They sometimes ask about troposphere and stratosphere, also about the lapse rate in troposphere. which i have covered in my video on atmosphere dgc can ask definition of relative humidity as well as value of it dgc can ask up to 3 to 4 questions from this topic this topic is 8.2 aerodynamics which includes complete terms definition and concepts the main topic to study is about the four forces acting on aircraft boundary layer terms such as chord aerodynamic center center of ratio aspect ratio angle of attack and finance ratio The types of drag and drag coefficient, L by D ratio is also important, and vortex dissipator. Types of aerofoil, including flats and slats. The DGCA can ask up to five to six questions from this topic, so study well. The theory of flight is related with the actual concept, and it's quite tough, and includes much theoretical concepts. So this topic includes relationships between lift, weight, thrust, and drag. glide ratio level flight climbing and about maneuverability in short about performance of the aircraft it also includes important topics such as load factors flight envelope stall etc and it includes questions such as during climbing lift is greater than weight during turn when will be side slip or skid occur overall about the characteristics and include 5 to 6 questions you can refer the book ac karma which is the most important book I have seen 15 to 17 questions came from this single book only. For more books, refer my video on books. Link in description. Our final and most important topic is flight stability and dynamics. You can call it stability and control. Question asked from this topic includes types of stability, definition of dynamic and static stability, the three axes of aircraft and stability of it. controls of aircraft during climbing which stability is affected and many more questions related with this mass balancing dead with stability spin spin and turn are also the part of this syllabus the dgca can ask questions from this topic and about 5 to 6 questions so study it well other important topics to study is air speed indicator errors newton's law applicable of flight which is first second and third law which means all laws are applicable specific air range which is distance covered by aircraft in steady level flight per unit weight of fuel remember the formula of absolute pressure which is absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure the performance of the engine is given in thrust and not in the power remember the propeller convert torque to the thrust and the thrust and drag couple is one of the important topic the definition of the service ceiling and the absolute ceiling at last to conclude the secret about the question setting is mainly from the highlighted bold black sentences and the words in ace karma they are really useful because i have seen 12 to 14 questions from the highlighted lines i have saved my notes in my google drive for you as a helping aid so go check it out and let's clear the module a finally subscribe if any queries comment below share it to your friends and spread knowledge and all the best for exam thanks for watching